Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here. And it is day 40 here in the frozen rock. Looks like the snow has just uh, stopped. It was snowing just a bit ago, but stopped as I was uh, getting uh, uh, going here. Well, if you remember in the last episode, we've been working on the drill system down in the coal mine. And we just about have it kind of ready to go. Uh, that's what I want to get finished today uh, is to get the uh, drills in place and then get the conveyor set up on the large uh, tanks, uh, large cargo bins and then uh, have those plumbed into the coal boilers. I also got the materials to finish these so let's Go ahead and get these wrapped up and then we'll go down and look at the drill system and kind of decide what next needs to be done down there. I do want to put lights in. The other thing I want to do is uh, uh, kind of really make it much more, well, put uh, safety in place. Uh, but uh, first off, we've got to get the drills done. So, so I think I have everything done except for the drills. We kind of come and look over here. The pistons are all in place. So the only thing I really need to do, well, let's come over back over this way. We can kind of come down here. Yeah. So, we need to, one, two, three, four. All right, so we've got that all into the build planner. And I think we can kind of come around over here. Yeah, we can get out this way. Once, once I get those materials, get that built, I can take the scaffolding out of here. And I kind of got plans of skirting along the edge and making more of a walkway out to the exit and to put kind of a stairs ramp catwalks coming down from above. So let's go back up and get rid of this excess concrete that I'm carrying. Uh, we can do that. Putting, the, putting this stuff in here. I do want to keep some of this. So we'll keep those girders. Now, yeah, let's see how much stuff we can get. All right, quite a bit. I may have to run back over to the other base and uh, get some more materials to get this finished, but I wanna be able to put lighting and all of that stuff down and in here, and we'll be able to do that but let's see if we can kind of get uh, get this built. All right, let's see. We can hop up here, walk out. Let's see if we can get one of these done. Well, not quite. All right, that got everything emptied. Let's, uh, so I will, uh, once I get, uh, uh, get these drills, uh, and I'm ready to finish up the last one. I'll uh, catch back up with you when uh, when I'm to that point. Okay, I am back. I think I have most all of my parts. I can't quite get them all on me. I think I've got like three motors left. But let's go down and see if we can finish getting these drills put together. And then let's actually see if we can do some mining. So uh, we're real close. And then it's just kind of getting the place uh, 
fixed up, adding lights, that sort of thing. So, let's see. Come over here. Let's hop up. All right. All right, we got that one done. And that one is done. And... All right, that one needs the three more motors that's up. And let's see here, okay. And then this one is done, yeah. We, so we get those three more motors. And... Then we can uh, get this uh, fired up. So this'll... I'm really kind of uh, excited to see how this turns out. It should be able to handle the stress of uh, even when it gets fully extended out. So we'll see how that all plays out. But uh, yeah, I'm, I think this is going to do good. All right, let's get these three motors. There they are. Let's get back down there. I'll be glad when I get the catwalks and everything in too. This this will look pretty good once it's all done. All right. Let's see, can we get down into the hole from here? There we go, all right. Okay, the drills are done. And you know what? We need to take this stuff out. And I think that's everything out of there. Let's get up top side. I have to go around this way. I'll bring this this around here so we have and I'm going to put uh, guardrails and stuff like that up. All right. Okay. Let's hop on. All right, moment of truth. Let's go to the control panel. Uh, drills. Okay. They are all on. All right. Now let's uh, let's put uh, piston number two in motion. Uh, that would be this one, and I want it to go real slow. I actually want it to go point zero five, I think. Okay. out of this and go s yep it's uh, it's drilling forward that is going a little faster than I thought let's see how fast did I set that I guess that's as slow as I can get that.
Okay, well. And it'll go to a maximum distance of 10. So let's uh, just see what our large cargo containers are doing. Uh, it's not that one. Oh, actually. Yep, it is loading up. We've got coal going into there. And it looks like it's picking up all coal. All right. Looks like it might start getting some gravel here, but that's okay. So yeah, once that, once we get all the way to the end of these three pistons, then we can retract them all, and then we will slightly swing the rotor one maybe a little ways off in the that other direction over there we'll have to drill a little bit of it out to make sure that it's not going to cause any problems but perfect all right okay so what's next well next is let's start while that's drilling away next is I'm going to add some lights and I need to start I want to start building out the floor uh, and to make a bit of a walkway down over here so I'm going to have to uh, put uh, let's make a All right, let's make a marker here. So if we do this, let's go to here. I can probably get rid of this. Let's go ahead and delete that. And now let's put in, uh, actually let me move over more over to here. All right, let's, uh, Bring up the GPS, new from current. All right, there we go. New Kingfish 5. And that is right there. So let's see how that looks angle-wise. So if we wanted to... Yeah, I think we could just basically kind of drill this out towards that and then we can just kind of put put our walkway in straight over and then the idea is to bring catwalks down so that's what I will am going to start working on next and uh, as I get a little farther along I will uh, catch back up with you all. Well, I am back and I discovered a faux pas. You're not going to believe it. Let's see if you guys can see what it is. So I'm looking at this piston right here this one and it's supposed to go that away but if you haven't seen it already here's the piston head right here which means it's pushing in the wrong direction so I have to figure out a way to take this piston out and put a new one in facing the right direction. So what I'm going to do, let's let's do this. I need to reverse. 
Let's get to piston number two. And let's reverse it. I think that'll be better. When it is all the way back in, I am going to see if I can't use some blocks and attach them. So that will attach and they'll attach to that. So I'm thinking I can attach a block to there and connect it through and then connect it to the top of the other piston. And then I should be able to grind this piston out. I'll need to go get the parts and uh, then put a new piston in in the proper position, I hope. Uh, I actually might also grind off, well, let's see. Well, we'll see once that's in back into place. Uh, then I should be able to just grind that piston out and then place it back in in the proper direction. So this should be about in. I mean, it was working good. The first piston extended all the way out and it got, got all the way out and I started to try the other one and it had uh, started to go backwards. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't moving forward. And then I realized, uh-oh, not good, not good. All right, that is just about all in. All right. I might need to well, let's let's kind of drill this out up here so I can get around there we go all right that is almost back And all right, so that will go put that right there. Okay, put that one there. Oh, that's not going to work. No. Uh, well, what if... Let's hop down to here. So what if I do that? Okay. Well, let's put a couple extra in. Alright. So that should be attached to that 
bottom one and it should be attached to the other one and it's, it's also attached there. Alright. Well, here's the moment of truth. Well, shoot. I'm gonna need... I need to put something in here. So I can reach it. Let's try that right there. Well, that did not work. So, hell. Why did that uh, not attach? It's attached here. It was attached here. Oh, I'm guessing that it didn't attach to the pistons for some whatever reason. All right, so I have two options to try to figure out how to connect these. So if I get a, I have weld pads, I might be able to do that without having to grind this all down, or that's my other option is to grind that all down. Well, I tell you what. I am going to pause this for a minute and uh, I will catch back up with you when I have decided what I'm going to do. Alright, I think what I am going to try to do is use the weld pads. Now, the challenge will be getting the piston in place uh, and then having the weld pads connect up and trying to get it to where they'll they'll attach so I think what I am going to do is I will put I'm gonna build the piston off of this one here and then I will, I may have to build a piston off the bottom to raise it a little bit. And I might be able to move the other piston forward or backward, just depending on what it, what it is. So, but we are kind of right at the end of the video. So I think we will do this in the next video see if we can't fix the big oops and kind of take it from there so I, always a challenge in space engineers especially if you're not paying attention one little just one little slip up and it all goes right down the tubes so all right space engineers keep building away out there don't do like the commander and make these faux pas. Uh, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video a lot. And if uh, you, you like the channel, please subscribe. Uh, I enjoy making the videos and I hope you enjoy watching. All right, uh, with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone.